communities of how societies have been organized around spiritual principles that allow those people to satisfy the needs of the body, but at the end of that life, go back home, back to the spiritual world. That is real sustainable culture. Mm-hmm. So any, any farming activities that don't uh, embrace those concepts, they're not sustainable. They may say they're sustainable. And they may think they've got a foothold in the world of local food economy and, and be dabbling in the world of pasture-fed beef and free-range chickens and all these things that um, are basically swapping life for money. I don't care if it's organic, I don't care how humane you try to dress it up, you're killing it. The fact is, you're unnecessarily taking life in exchange for that, you're getting money to have discretionary income. So anybody listening to this who thinks that that's sustainable, that they can ignore the karmic component of sustainability, you're in a grand illusion. You cannot ignore karma any more than you can ignore gravity. You can't claim independence from the law of gravity. Try it. Get up on a building, jump off, and see if you float. So likewise, when you take life unnecessarily, and you call it, and you just you rationalize and justify it because you're doing it organically, um, don't think for a minute that there's not a karmic price to pay for that. There it is. So the Vedic approach to sustainability, therefore, is founded in that principle of respect for life. That if it's if you live in a place where there's ample fruit, grain, uh, you know, vegetation, uh, and and especially there's ample production of um, milk products, and protective cows, and in spite of living in such a place where you've got all that fertility and all that opportunity such a wide, diverse variety of things to eat. You choose to take life, to sustain yourself, just because of some cultural habit, or you just like the taste of flesh of animals, or whatever you need. Mm-hmm. Um, that's a very serious offense to nature. And your, your destiny is not good because of that. You, you will have to pay that price. If, however, you live in a place where there is no other option you really don't have an option because it's just the way the place is. It's extremely cold or um, lacking in any kind of diversity like that. Then life can be taken, but only under those circumstances.